Good morning. Uh, my name is Alan Horn, and I'm the moderator of the ITU Telecom World 2014 session on revenue generation through community driven social and economic partnerships. Now, we have we are uh, experiencing an unprecedented um, pressure on governments to deliver services at lower costs for people uh, in developed markets to commute further because of the high prices of houses within the urban areas for governments to create jobs in the rural community and to stem urbanization for people wanting to go uh, in fact government to devolve power back to the community and reverse the, the trend of centralised government uh, and administration. We're seeing pressures from consumers in developed markets for super fast inter, uh, internet connectivity to be able to run their lives, to socialise with their friends and family who are spread right across the world and to purchase, the good, purchase goods on a global retail market. And finally, the pressure on the national, for national and international cohesion to support human rights and the fight against extremism. Now, all of these pressures on society that we're facing uh, today uh, can considerably be helped uh, by high-speed, ubiquitous communication networks and a vast array of smart devices and applications and services. Now, these are all critical to assist society and individuals tackle these evolving stresses and strains. And indeed, at the same time, they will in turn generate new revenues uh, for operators who are providing and investing in the right solutions. Now, however, today, uh, the policies on privatization, uh, uh, regulated competitive uh, uh, sector and delivering of the high speed ubiquitous networks, then these policies are to a certain extent, uh, people would argue, outdated and in fact are stifling uh, competition and in some cases stifling investment. And indeed we have uneconomic areas of our communities, both in the developed world and in the underdeveloped world, that in a competitive world, the telecom operators are not likely to invest in networks. So what are we gonna do about this? So communications operators uh, have really got to find new business models. The old business models where voice communication revenues uh, drive investment are no longer applicable. We have the over-the-top operators demanding more and more bandwidth, uh, which need the operators to invest. Now, there are a growing number of cases where uh, operators are partnering, uh, partnering with uh, local communities. Local communities are taking initiatives in indeed in, in installing their own fiber optics when their operators uh, are not themselves investing. So these new in initiatives, which are really very much holistic, taking a holistic approach, looking at providing health and education um, support, uh, supported by economic uh, activities to generate the funds to invest in broadband communications within a uh, community. And at our session, uh, our panel session in um, Geneva, we're going to debate some of these partnerships and see what lessons that we can learn and so that people involved in the uh, debate can go away with some very practical ideas to support how they themselves can generate new revenues from, from partnering and looking at a, a much broader uh, range of applications and new business models.